Wrap Up and today I am starting a new series on product reviews. So I will be reviewing different things that I um, have gotten offline and right now I'm this series is going to include those Instagram ads that you see. I actually started clicking on them the ones that say, hey, get this for free or get this for discount or whatever. And I actually got stuff. So let's see what we have today. Okay. This one is from Honest Paws. So if you've seen an ad on Honest Paws, um, this is from, called the Wag and Wash or where I come from, the wagon wash, because I add an extra R in there. Um, my college roommate, my freshman, my first semester, would pick on me all the time for saying wash with an R in it. Um, yes, I know how you're actually supposed to say it, and I don't care. So this is basically like one of those lick it mats. So it goes um, on the, um, it goes in your tub. So it's got suction cups in the back, and it's got ridges and whatnot. And you're supposed to put peanut butter or something squishy or whatever inside here. Um, my dog that I'm going to try this on does not like peanut butter. Yes, I know, he's weird. But I have one dog that loves peanut butter and one dog that can't stand it, unless it's in cookies. So he likes them in dog biscuits, but he does not like it in um, just by itself. So I am going to give him a bath, and I am going to try with canned dog food to put that on here and see how it works. And so then I will be back to go over how well it suctioned and whether or not it kept my dog's attention or whatever. Um... Keep in mind, whatever you put on here, the value of that um, is going to help determine whether or not it, it works for your dog. So if you put peanut butter on here for a dog that doesn't like peanut butter, it's not going to be worth much of anything. If I put um, cheese on for that particular dog, it's going to be worth a whole lot more. But I don't have any squeezed cheese because I don't really like the ingredients and I don't feel like taking the time to melt cheddar cheese and make a cheesy sauce so I'm just gonna try to put canned dog food on there because I happen to have a can so this once again this is the Honest Paws Wag and Wash it was supposedly $30 on their website um, it was free if you answered the ad and I guess you have a certain code, however it is that I had to do it. But I had to pay $5 shipping, or $4.95. And then they told me I could order a second one for cheaper, and that was either $8 or $10 or something. Um, so I checked the prices on Amazon of comparable things, and they ranged, like, starting at $8 or so. So, um, I am going to try this with my dog. I'm going to go give him a bath and I will be back and let you know how it worked. Okay guys, I'm back. I just gave my dog his bath and uh, it actually worked really, really well. So, I made a mistake. I did not realize the dog food that I got for this thing was chunky <laughs> and not pate. So pate would definitely work better because I, and then I can smear it through, any, through all the little crevices. So I'll let you guys see that. Um, so I could smear it through all that if I had an actual pate. Since I didn't, the way this one was made, I could put the chunks of food in them. It was actually about the same size. So that worked, but it didn't work if I wanted to stick it to the wall. I had to put it flat on the tub itself. And my issue with that was if I didn't stick it down hard enough, then it would slide and it would slide if I was in the process of sticking it down, but I, my hand was at an angle. So that's not really the fault of this thing. That's more my fault for not having the right stuff to put on it. I put the gravy from the canned dog food on there, and that worked great if I stuck it um, 
against the wall. So surprisingly enough, you know, those ads for as seen on TV or as seen on Instagram or whatever, um, it worked really well. The suction cups are pretty good once they're stuck on and I didn't have any trouble with it slipping down the side of the, um, the, the side of the wall. That part was fine. Um, the dog food pieces would not stay on because, you know, it's dog food, not something that defies gravity. So it wouldn't stay on there. But it worked really well for the purpose intended. Um, it would have been a lot better if I had cheese or peanut butter, I think. And by cheese, like squeezy, cheesy, saucy stuff. Um, I didn't even think to put ketchup on it because that particular dog loves ketchup. Hates peanut butter, loves ketchup. Won't eat a french fry unless it's got ketchup on it. Like, how a dog doesn't like french fries? Even five guys. I don't know, but he doesn't. Um, but he'll eat it if it has ketchup on it. So, once again, this is the one from Honest Paws. It was an ad I saw on Instagram. And it basically said, do you want this thing for free? And I was like, yeah. So they gave me a coupon code, I think. And I went on the website. And the only thing they charged me was five bucks to ship it. And I thought, and I went on um, Amazon and I looked for the prices on Amazon. And the prices on there were, I don't know, eight bucks and up. So it's like, okay, well, at the very least, I save three bucks. So I got it and I'm happy with it. Um... It worked pretty well. I wonder if I could put the saucy or, you know, peanut butter or something on here and then freeze it the same way that I would a Kong. Um, and then if that would keep the dogs engaged longer. Because that was my issue is he's a big dog. He's about 90 pounds. And he would lick it and it would all be gone too fast. So that's, um, once again, that's not the fault of this thing. But I wonder, could I put the put something on it and then stick that thing in the freezer so it would last longer. I imagine I might have issues with the suction cups if they're frozen. So I don't maybe I have to thaw those things out or something, but it's an idea. If any of you see this video and you try that, let me know. Let me know how it goes. And if any of you guys get this thing from Honest Paws, comment let me know what you thought of it, because I'm pretty happy with it, especially for five bucks. And it came pretty fast. Um, I hadn't ordered it too long before it actually got here. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all think. Bye! Oh, wait. I keep forgetting to say this at the end of my videos. So, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, um, and Patreon if you want input on the videos that I make next or the thing I review next or anything like that please please join me on patreon be one of my uh, be one of my patrons <laughs> and there are there are a whole bunch of different levels the lowest one is two bucks a month and that's not very much for supporting a small business getting content having a say in what videos get made next and um, yeah it's two bucks if you want to go up higher, you can do 50 bucks a month and you'll get a video consult with me every month. So, hey, that's pretty good. Um, whatever you like, the details are in the links below.